Hello my lovely Sagittarius, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is a reading for the month of May so please take the energy that resonates. If it doesn't resonate then just leave it where it is. We'll start with an oracle card and the card that come out for you is Birthing a New Age. And this says birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So you're about to bring a dream into a reality. And even if you are like, no, I'm not. I was like, well, I think it's time to start thinking about what your dreams are and start bringing them into reality because now is a perfect time for you, Sagittarius, to bring those dreams into your into your being. You have everything you need to make it your reality. They do not need to be a dream. It's your choice whether you want to keep it as a dream or whether you want to turn it into your reality. Um, only you can decide that. But you have everything that you need. You have all the resources. Um, even if you don't feel that you do, use what you have and the rest will be uh, put in your path when it's needed. But if you want your dreams to just not be dreams anymore, now's the time to start working on them. Because I feel that it's a very strong energy that right now is a chat is a time for you to bring your dreams into reality and your angels and your spirit guides are all around you and they'll be guiding you along your path they're not going to give you all the answers they're going to give you the lessons you need to be able to get the answers but now is the time if you want your dreams to be the reality start working on them okay don't keep waiting for them don't keep putting out there this is what i want i'll leave it to you put that out there and then get to work because the universe can't do anything if there's nothing to work with so start getting to work but let's get into tarot and let's see what the tarot cards have to say for you today so we have um the page of cups okay we also have the seven of pentacles the five of wands and the wheel of fortune Okay. Right, so the first card is what energies are going to be flowing to you this month. And you've got the Page of Cups. Now, you also got Birthing a New Age, which is saying that you need to bring your dreams into reality. And the Page of Cups is you might not know what to do to bring your dreams into reality. Take a step and then follow your intuition. Take another step. Follow your curiosity. You've got to be curious. You have to be curious of how things are going to work. You've got to be curious of how, you know, what if I did something I didn't give up? What would happen? Let's find out. And it's got to be that kind of energy you need to start putting out there. What if I did this thing and tried to start a new business? I wonder what would happen. Now, there's part of your brain that can go, oh, don't do that because it'll be like you'll your lose all your friends, you'll lose your family, people won't like it. You know, people are going to judge you. People are going to say you're stupid. You need to go, I want to start that new business. I wonder what will happen. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But let's try it and let's find out. Be curious. Follow your intuition. Because sometimes there have been people in the world that didn't know where something would lead them. But they took a chance and they went with it anyway just to see what would happen. Like an experiment to see if it would actually work. And now they're billionaires. And now they've got every, now they found themselves and they've got everything they ever wanted. Because it isn't all about money. Maybe like, what if I ask that person out? Well, what if she says no? You're going to make a fool of yourself. But what if she says yes? happen what if he said yes let's find out and look at it that way follow your curiosity follow your intuitions bring dreams to reality okay so where should you put your focus on this month you've got the seven of pentacles seven of pentacles is about growth you need to be growing as a person growing your skills um i always see the seven of pentacles as what do I need to remove from my life to make space for something new to come in? And this could be in people. What people are just dragging me down? What people do I not like to be around because of their negative energy that I need to remove from my life? What uh, negative thoughts do I have about myself that's not making me feel any better? Let's flip the switch. 
how much junk do I have in the house which is cluttering up my mind by looking at every day? What what do I need to get rid of? What do I need to throw out, recycle, donate, sell to be able to have a, a clutter-free home so that I have space for somebody to come into my life? And I feel that's what you... Um, you need to focus on. You need to focus on removing kind of dead wood to allow something new to come in. That doesn't mean a person, that could mean um, a career, it could mean like, you know, what if you're looking for a new car but you don't take care of the car that you have now? When you take care of something, the universe is saying that that person is ready for a new car, let's move things into place. So you need to start looking at your life and what you need to get rid of, what you need to keep and what you need to focus on. Okay, the next one is what challenges may you face this month? And you've got the five of wands. There's going to be some conflict with people. There's going to be some arguments. There's going to be some disagreements um, coming up for you in May because I feel that you're going to follow your intuition. You're going to follow your curios curiosity and you're just going to go for it. Um, and you're, when you tell people, they're just going to say, that's so stupid, what are you doing that for? And they'll give you all the negative energy rather than the encouragement and the positive light that you are looking for. They're not going to give you constructive criti criticism, they're just going to criticise. And you've got a choice, you can either go go and argue with these people and have that conflict and say, I appreciate your opinion, you're entitled to your opinion, but I'm also entitled not to listen to that and still do my journey my way. Or I don't so much now because I've grown, but when I was younger and someone told me, you can't do this, and I said, like, you watch me. My old dance teacher told me I would never be a dance teacher. I had my own school for 13 years because she said that. I no longer dance because I've got a child, but um, yeah, she told me I couldn't do it. I had to prove point, but I have great memories. So, but the five of wands is showing that there is going to be conflict. It's up to you how you respond. Do you react? Do you respond? Your choice, Sagittarius. And the final one is what do you need to work on letting go is the wheel of fortune. Know that life is in cycles and life is going to turn good and then it's going to turn bad. Stop trying to push it. Stop trying to make it good. Stop trying to be like, why is it my turn? Like, why can't I have some good luck for a change? Just let it let's let the wheel turn. Just let the wheel turn on its natural way and know that bad's happened, good's coming. That's it. Let go of trying to force it. Let go in of manifesting too hard. Let go of um, uh, doing spells or trying to just stop trying to force it to come into your life. <laughs> That's all I'm getting. Stop trying to force it. It will happen. Let it naturally happen on its own terms. Stop forcing it. The more you're forcing, the more you're pushing away. Okay, let's pull an animal spirit card for you then, Sagittarius, to see what the animal spirit world has for you today. If you like the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel, but more importantly, it helps reach more people that may need to hear this message today. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, then do check out my Etsy shop, RM Tarot, link in the description box below, um, as well as my social media handles are all down in the description box if you'd like to follow me on social media. Okay, so the card you have, Sagittarius, is the bat. See through illusion into truth. What is your truth? People are going to conflict, going to have conflicts and they're going to try and persuade you and they're going to try and change your mind into what is best for them and what they think is best for you rather than you actually doing what's right for you. So see through the illusion and stand in your truth. That's their opinion of your life. But remember, it's your life, your opinion, you do what you want. So when people are trying to change your mind, see through the illusion and see the truth and stand in your own truth always. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Sagittarius. Thank you for spending that time with me. I really do appreciate it. Anything resonates, drop it in the comment box below and don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.